Hey everyone, welcome back. <laughs> all right, so we just went over all of the supplies, so I'm just gonna walk you through the instructions for actually how to etch our glass. So you can, of course, do any glass that you want. If you have a wine glass or a vase or whatever, you can etch anything you want, but I'm gonna show you on this frame. We're gonna use this frame for practice, okay? So if you have a frame, you can follow along with me as we practice. And then after you get the technique down, you can move on to whatever else you want to etch. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open my frame up. Okay, here we go. All right. So a couple things that I want to say about etching is that um, we are going to be using etching cream today. Etching cream is an acid. We're specifically using Armor Etch glass etching cream. So in your kit, it came in a little bottle like this. So same thing now, okay? Uh, this stuff, you definitely wanna be careful with it. Please don't, you know, put it up to your nose and inhale it. <laughs> I don't want you to sniff it. Um, if you are someone who is sensitive to smell and fumes, etc., then I do encourage you to wear a mask. We also want to be very careful not to get this on our skin. So once we actually start to use the Armor Edge Cream, I would insist that you put on a pair of gloves. I included a pair of gloves in your kit. However, I do understand if you're like, I don't like these gloves, Sherry. <laughs> you can use whatever gloves you have that you want to use. Just please make sure that your hands are covered, okay? And that you're really careful with the stuff. It is very safe to use. However, if you get it on your skin, um, you should stop what you're doing immediately and you want to flush it with water for about 15 minutes, okay? All right, here we go. So moving on. So since I'm using this frame, I'm going to pop the glass out. So I'm just going to use the glass just to for a safety measure. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some tape around my edges just to make sure that I don't cut myself or anything. So um yeah so i'm gonna use this blue tape that i have feel free to use whatever color is in your kit so literally i'm just gonna go on all do these two sides first what i did i just stuck it on halfway and then i'm just gonna fold it over pretty simple And I'll repeat that for the top and the bottom. Okay, if you're in the Crafty Divas group, if you're in the Facebook group, if you go to that Facebook group, you'll find an Amazon list that has all of the supplies that we are using for this project. So you could go there to, if you want to buy some additional supplies. Or you can reach out to me if you're like, I just need another kit. Or I just need a, one more stencil or something like that. You can reach out to me and see what I have in stock as well. Okay, so I got all my corn. I got, I got everything taped off here, so I feel pretty good about that. Alright, so I'm just going to sit that down. Now... This is just practice, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But if you're, when, <clears throat> excuse me, when you go to your actual project, I do recommend taking an alcohol wipe and just wiping down your surface to make sure you get any like oils from your hands or any gunk or whatever that might be on it. I know I'm silly. All right, so I'm just going to give it a good wipe down with the alcohol just to make sure that it's nice and clear. Hopefully everything's in frame and you can see that. All right, so that's done. You know, get that a second to dry. I'm gonna decide here. So we have two different kinds of stencils. We have this, these blue ones. And just so you know, I have a pack here that it's not open. These are from the DT, the Dollar Tree, Crafter Square brand. 
I seen these on Amazon for five and six dollars. Um, but if you are lucky enough to find them in your Dollar Tree, then that's awesome. I will say, excuse me, I will say that if you're going to use these self adhesive stencils, be prepared. Excuse me, be prepared to really work on these details to make sure that they're sticking down. Um, they do work, however, uh, some folks have difficulty with getting them stuck all the way down, so then some of the etching cream goes under and it makes a like a little blob next to your letter. So I'll actually I'll do I'll do one of each. So I'm gonna do hello sunshine. Okay. So for these, you literally just peel it off and then you lay it down on your frame. So I'm going to put this, uh, I guess I'll put it right here in the center or center-ish. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be perfect. All right, so I'm laying it down and then I'm going to really get in here and make sure I'm going to press down on this and make sure that it is adhered super well to the glass, okay? This is a card that we use for burnishing, which is just the, basically the process of smoothing down and getting out like air bubbles and stuff like that. So I'm going to use this card to help me really get this down. I'm paying attention to these like little small lines because literally you can use your finger for this as well so again we're showing you the technique so hopefully this works out well well <laughs> but who knows right <laughs> all right so that's that that's the blue one now i also included Some smaller stencils that I cut out so you should have your initial first initial of your first name in the kit and then you should also have some hearts okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna use um, my small heart so in let's let's talk about this so I'm just gonna move this to the side for a moment yeah. I'm gonna actually show you I'm gonna show you two ways to get these hearts off maybe I'll do both hearts Do I have another small heart? I'm making a mess. <laughs> Let me see if I have another small heart in here. I do. So I'm going to show you two, two ways to get this off, okay? So first way would be, uh, a lot of people would consider it to be the easy way. <laughs> necessarily think that but some people do so I'm grabbing my safety pen we're gonna use this as a weeding tool the weeding is a term that's used when you're taking vinyl uh, out so we're gonna weed out the center of this vinyl so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pen and I'm gonna get close to the edge but I'm gonna make sure that I'm on that heart and I'm just gonna kind of stick it in and then lift the vinyl up okay so what that did is that took out the heart and because you know I'm a fan. I'm going to just add this to my card here. So now I got a little double heart situation going on that card. <laughs> All right, so this leaves you with just the outline, right? So the inside is blank. You have your outline. This is what is going to be etched, okay? The rest of this is really just a stencil. So the the easy way, I guess, would be to go ahead and just peel that off. Okay? And then lay it down on your frame like that now you see I have a little bubble right there you want to try to get all bubbles push them away from the the inside here okay any air bubbles that you have push them away so that center area is what we're going to be concentrating on. This is what's going to be etched right inside there, right? This is what's going to be etched. So the perimeter of this, we need to make sure that that is really, really stuck down to the glass, okay? So use this card to burnish it down. You want to get, get it good, right? Now, 
a trick is if you turn your glass over, I don't know if this will pick up well on the camera, but if you turn the glass over you, with this black vinyl, you'll see a gray, gray areas. If you see a gray area, know that that gray area is not stuck all the way down to the glass. If it's along the edge that's not stuck down, that's totally okay. As long as around the inside perimeter of your design is securely stuck down, you should be okay. Okay, now let me show you the more challenging way. So same thing, I would still go ahead and take out my center. I just put my needle in there, my weeding tool, if you will, and I'm lifting up to get that part out of there, okay? <laughs> okay. You have, in your kit, you have some clear paper. This is called transfer tape, okay? I've already used mine a couple times, so that's, that's why it's like, that doesn't fit sherry <laughs> but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my transfer tape off of this background here and i'm going to lay it down on my table sticky side up okay so it's on my table sticky side up i'm going to take my image and i'm going to place it down on my transfer tape face down okay i'm now going to take one of my cards my burnishing cards and i'm going to burnish it. I'm going to rub that on there. Give it a nice rub. And then what you can do is you can go to one of the corners and you want to lift this white off of the you want to lift this white paper off of your stencil. So in this case I'm lifting it up. It's not coming off. That means I need to burnish it some more. Okay. So you really got to get, get it on there really good I'm gonna burnish it some more okay now again this technique you're like sherry it's just a heart do I really have to do this no you don't you can do it that way but this comes in handy when you have letters that have like a piece in the middle so if you had an R or a P or if you had letters that have a lot of um, pieces that stick out like an E or a W this is an easier way to do it okay Still not sticking okay it's sticking a little bit on that side you see it's sticking a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit it down on the table since I got a little stick and I'm using this finger I'm gonna put pressure pressure on the back of my transfer excuse me the back of the backing that's on my stencil so I'm, as I'm putting that pressure on there I'm also gonna roll this paper off okay so pressure and roll at the same time pressure roll pressure roll pressure roll pressure roll and this might take some practice but pressure roll pressure roll okay pressure all right it's all off there you go okay so then my heart stuck to the transfer tape so then what you do is and it's clear because now you can see you can how to line it up and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go at opposite corner up here and I'm just gonna put my transfer tape down with my stencil down and then I'm going to go ahead and give it a good rub again. Ooh, this is my card. Rubbing it good. And then I'm going to very slowly roll this off. The reason I'm rolling it slowly is if I pull it too hard, too fast, then this might lift up a little bit. And it may secure, but you may end up with a lot of areas. So you can save this to use again. So I'm going to check on the back. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. There is a gray bubble right there, but it's not close to my image. Okay. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to give it one more burnish. And then in order to kind of make sure I have nice clean images and I don't accidentally come outside of these lines when I'm putting on my cream I'm going to tape a border around my stencils 
So this way, if I have a drip or something like that, it won't really be a huge deal. Okay. I'm taping that side. Okay, adding some more there. Adding some more right there. And I'm making sure that I push my tape down pretty good as well. I have a pretty steady hand, but for my friends who don't have a pretty steady hand, don't be afraid to tape this up. You can add one piece or you can go ahead and add two pieces, you know, just to give yourself that extra protection. Why not? And again, make sure this is taped off and pushed down well because, you know, any gaps that you have, the cream tries to run up under there and hide. I swear it could find the smallest gaps. <laughs> Absolutely find the smallest gaps. Like Sherry, this is extra. Hey, it is worth it for the finished result. Okay, it is so worth it. Okay, I got everything taped down. I'm feeling good about it. So now we move on to the actual cream etching, okay? So I'm going to use my bottle because I've still got some in here. Before I even open that bottle, I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves. All right, so you can do this one of two ways. You can use a popsicle stick or you can use a paintbrush. Um, if you use a popsicle stick, what you do, an etching cream, that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but <laughs> um, sometimes it forms like little crystals and stuff. So don't be surprised if you have like a solid piece. But with the popsicle stick, what you would do is you would basically go in and i don't have a lot in here so i might not be able to do the popsicle stick all right well you go in and get you a mound of this cream right and then you drop it on your image like that literally okay and then you just kind of let it sit there and chill So that's pretty easy. Um, I have issues with it because I don't think you get as even, you don't get even coverage. So instead, what I like to do is I like to go in with a paintbrush and I'll start here in the heart. And what I do is I take my paintbrush, you don't even, you don't even need a lot. Like that's probably more than enough right here that, that I have there. That's probably more than enough. I'm going to go in with my paintbrush and I'm literally going to brush across this 
and then I'm going to brush up and down and then I'm going to go at a diagonal and then I'll start my process over I'm going to do this for two minutes okay And I'll catch you back on here in two minutes. I feel like I hear this blue <laughs> I feel like I hear the blue one like lifting up as I brush it so just make sure that you're being very gentle hey I never said I was perfect okay just showing you the technique this is the technique <laughs> to be very gentle so the cool thing about etching cream is that you can reuse it over and over so I got a bunch of my brush here I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off back into the bottle there's a crystal I just move these crystals to the side because I don't want them to um, kind of block the cream from being able to etch the glass. And if you feel like it's not enough cream, just you can add some more. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Nothing that says you can't add any more cream. Sorry, y'all. I can't. This is just too much cream on this for me. <laughs> So after two minutes, after that two minutes is up that I was talking about, what you can do is you could stop and just like let it sit and let it just do its thing a little while longer or you can keep going over it. The choice is yours, but you need to at least brush it for two minutes and then I would definitely let my etching cream sit for a minimum of three minutes after that. So that's a total of five minutes, right? The etching cream needs to be on the surface for at least five total minutes. So I'm brushing for two and then I'm letting it sit for three. Or I'm brushing it all for all five. Again, the choice is yours. Now, you know how we turned it over and we looked underneath it and we saw that the, the, you know, especially with the black vinyl, that there was those gray areas. 
So if you lift it up gently right now, you should be able to turn it over and see if you have any thing going underneath. And I feel I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I took it all off and I feel like I need more now. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a big one right there. So it doesn't take a lot of etching cream, y'all, to get the effect that you're looking for. So don't feel like you, you know, don't feel like you need to use this whole bottle. And in all honesty, my experience has been, you know, you can you can let this sit on here more than five minutes. You could let it sit on for 10 minutes. You could let it sit on for 20 minutes, you know? But to be honest, I don't feel like I, I don't feel like my edge gets too much darker after five minutes. So again, the choice is yours. I think I'm gonna stop brushing now and just let it sit for a little bit longer. And when we come back, I'll take you to the sink. Uh, let me just see if there's anything else. So this brush has cream on it, that stick has cream on it. So I'm being very mindful of where I set them down. I'm gonna throw those in the trash. Um, I don't intend to use them again. When we go to the sink, I'm going to keep my gloves on because as long as there's any of this cream on this surface, I want to keep my gloves on to make sure that I don't touch it. Okay. And I'm good. My skin is good. I only have a little bit on the surface, on the tips of my fingers, so I should be good. Um, these stencils are reusable. So if you can get them off the glass without them ripping or tearing or something like that, then you can reuse them again, okay? Um, the black stencils, I cut out using my Silhouette Cameo machine. If you have a Cricut, you can use that to make your own stencils. And this is just black permanent vinyl, um, Oracle 651. And then again, I showed you the self-adhesive stencils. and that. The thing about the blue ones is you have to make sure that they say self-adhesive. If they're not self-adhesive, then they're not going to work out. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off. I'm going to use some warm water and just kind of get it all off. I'm going to take my stencils off as I'm washing it. And I'm going to remove the tape that I put on the inside. I'm going to try to leave my border, but I'm going to move the tape on the inside just to make sure that, you know, nothing is under it. Okay. All right. I'll see you when we get back. All right, child, we are at the sink. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I like the water to be warm. Now, um, when the etching cream goes down the drain, it's not going to have any impact. It's, it's safe for your drains, I promise. And the water actually deactivates it after a, a, lot of, a bit of time. So that's why they say to flush your hands for 15 minutes. Alright, I wish my glove was fixed there. But I'm just going to go ahead and start rinsing this off. Alright, so I got most of my cream there, so I'm going to go here now. I'm going to that off. If you have a tricky design, sometimes I, I notice that people will go ahead and use their fingers. I'm, I just, it doesn't feel like I need to do that. Alright, so my tape. <laughs> my tape is coming off. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lift up this stencil. I'm going to lift up this stencil. Ah, it's sticking to the bottom. And I'm going to 
I'm going to try to get this pencil up as well. And then I'm going to rinse again just to make sure that there was nothing trapped under there. Alright, this is coming off, y'all. <laughs> it's coming off. I can't control it. At my, I think my water's too hot. It happens. Alright, so anyway, I went ahead and took it off. Alright, so I'm going to sit that down for a minute and I'm going to go ahead and remove my gloves. Put those down. I'm going to give it a good little wipe down with some dish detergent. I'm being very careful because these edges are sharp. Alright, you're like, I, you're, you might be saying, I don't see much. Okay, well, let me get some paper towel to dry it off. Oh, you see it? Sorry. <laughs> it's starting to come through. <laughs> oh, we did good, y'all. We did good. this is etched okay so hopefully you can rewind this and watch it again if you need to but hopefully you got the technique down oh yeah that's cute so this was my blue stencil from the Dollar Tree and I think it came out perfect but I don't see any little imperfections or anything so just remember you got to make sure you rub it down really really well and then these two are the stencils that I made from the silhouette from the that black vinyl. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the table and I'm gonna show you real quick how you could potentially add color to it. I kind of like it the way it is, but I'll just I'll show you anyway. Alright, so we're back at the table. Move oh, this over. Definitely don't have gloves on. But we're back at the table. Um, in your kit, you received these little bottles. You, you have alcohol ink and you in um, a color, and you have alcohol ink and white. Okay, so you can use whichever one of these you want. I'm gonna try the purple you're gonna need um, paper towel or something like a, a rag or something um, a, like a soft cloth would be better but paper towel will work uh, I'm just gonna do this heart down here so maybe we can compare all right when you open this for the first time this is sealed, so you're going to have to take the safety pin and basically go down the center, push it down in the center of this to open that up. Once it's open, then it's always open. I got it all over my fingers, y'all. So my nails are not dirty, but I got alcohol ink on my fingers. <laughs> Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to basically let it drip onto your project. That's just one drop. All right, I let it spread out for a little bit. And then once, once you're ready, you grab a towel or something and you literally buff it in. I'm going to do it again. I'm 
gonna buff this color in. I feel like it's rejecting it. <laughs> Okay, so I rubbed it in. It's kind of faint, but you can kind of see that it's purple, right? <laughs> in comparison. But what I also noticed is that the glass around it also has a purple tinge. So if you're like, uh, I don't really love that sherry. I don't really like it. Or there's purple in places that I don't want it. Grab another one of your alcohol pads. Or like I said, if you just have alcohol, I'm going to go grab my alcohol. See, I have this spray bottle of alcohol, so I'm just going to put a little bit on my pad because it's dry. I just sprayed a little bit on. So what I'm going to do is wherever there's color that I don't want, I'm gonna just going to go ahead and take my alcohol and rub it away. So these are alcohol inks, so they can be removed with alcohol. Trying not to take I'm trying not to take off my heart though. Kind of defeats the whole purpose, right? How's that? Just a little bit up here that I would love to get off, but So can you see the color? Now the only thing about the alcohol inks is it adds color, but it's definitely temporary. So after a few washings, it may come off and it might not be there anymore. But what you etched will be there. Etching is the acid eating away at the glass. So it'll be there and it'll be there forever. So let me show you. This glass right here that I also did in purple, if you look closely at it, you can see you can see some things happen to this seed that wasn't supposed to happen, right? That's gonna always be there. I can't get that off. You can't wash it away. It's that's permanent, okay? <laughs> so you just have to love it. You're like, you know what? I made it, right? So I made it, I'm gonna love it. Alright, so I'm gonna you can see when you spray this alcohol on, it gets darker right away, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take the color off. So that's how easy it is to take the color off if, you're, if you don't like it. So what's kind of cool is that if you get good at coloring the letters, then like you can color them for holidays, right? And then take back off and your glass is fine. <laughs> I know that's that's corny um and then so go ahead and do your whatever you have whether you have glasses or you have vases or whatever etch what you have and when you're finished please 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 post a pic in our facebook group so that we can all see what you did if you have any problems at all please post a question in the facebook group and you can put at sherry so that i see the question but anybody that has done the project might be able to offer some assistance and some help so i think that's all that i wanted to show you y'all have a great day and happy crafting i did have an alcohol wipe here but if i've seen to misplay i've seen to misplace my alcohol wipe <laughs>
Okay. That one's used. All right. Well, at any rate, I'm going to move on. <laughs> so you wipe it down with the alcohol. All right. So then what you're going to do is you're going to decide what stencil. There it is. I found it. 